What is up guys and welcome to the South Coast. Today's video I'm going to attempt to completely remove and reinstall the drive belt and the blade belt on the bad boy Maverick just to see if we can figure out how to do it. Got some uh, requests from some subscribers out there asking to show how that is done so we're going to give it a go. Let's get to it. So, first things first, pull this blade belt off. That came off pretty easy. We'll leave that for now. Uh, let's go ahead and get the, we got to disconnect the wiring for the PTO. that out of the way. So I think to get this the drive belt off we're going to need to take this bolt out. That'll be limiting us getting it off. Um, but I think first thing I need to do is try to get it off of the tensioner or off of one of these pulleys. Let's see if I can do that. Alright, probably going to have to loosen up this uh, tensioner spring, take the tension off of that to where I can get this belt off. So let me grab some wrenches, we'll loosen that up. Alright, forgot to hit the record, but ended up having to use two wrenches, two adjustable wrenches uh, to break the double nut off. And then just backed them off to where we got some, some slack in the tensioner. So now we'll move the camera around. Take a look at getting this belt off. All right, just came off of this front hydro gear, that left side hydro gear. Pull it on out. And get it off of this side as well. Slide it out from between those two. Now the only pulley it should be left on is this drive pulley off the engine. Now we gotta take this bolt off.
There is a nut and a washer on the top side of that, so make sure you keep track of it. Now, let's see. Looks like it's just jammed between the uh, tensioner pulley and the run pulley. All right, so that's the drive belt off. We'll go set it on the bench, take a look at it in a second. All right, don't really have a super great vantage uh, for the camera on this one, but I'm gonna take these two covers off. Take this one off of this side. Should get it clean out inside of there as well. Get this one pulled off over here. Should come out fairly easy. Should just come Hung up back there. Let me get under there and see what's what. All right, just got hung up on one of the hydro gears, so that belt's out as well. Let's go look at them on the bench, make sure they're in good condition. Uh, we'll get this deck cleaned up a little bit, and then we'll get them both put back on. All right, so let's take a look at this belt. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Come on, come on, come on, there we go. All right, so just taking a look at the belt. Um, looks to be in pretty good condition. This is the drive belt for the hydro gears. Nothing too crazy, especially seeing as it jumped off the pulleys there on me the other day. It seems to be in good condition. Just go all the way around one time, looking for any big nicks or tears or anything. Looking good so far. All right, so I think that one's good. And we got this mamma jamma. Obviously, a bit more length on this one, but it is looking good as well. A little dirty, but nothing too concerning a little bit of glazing on this outside but that's not really the drive side uh, the drive side is that V V groove side that's what uh, is actually gripping the pulley on the PTO and what's gripping the pulley on all the spindles so a little bit of glazing on this back side not too bad we can live with that. Everything feels good. This one looks good as well. So I think we are in good shape to put these belts back on. Obviously, when you're inspecting your belts, you want to look for things like nicks, cuts, tears, uh, any heavy glazing. Basically, like if you're looking at the belt uh, here where it engages with the pulley, if, it's, if there's any spots where it's like very smooth and shiny, uh, that'll tell you that the, the blade got hung up or your something with your hydro gears got hung up and the pulley sort of burnished that uh, belt material and that can cause to slippage or that can lead to slippage. It can cause slippage. It's not going to cause to slippage. That's just not right. So look for stuff like that. These belts are in good shape. I probably need to go ahead and order a spare set of belts just to have on hand in case I do tear one up. Uh, it's something I don't have on hand right now, so that might be something I do in the future. 
but these look good right now so i'm gonna go ahead and get these put back on the mower should be good to go all right guys so before we get to putting that belt back on let's take a look at this belt route diagram so here you have the crank pulley tensioner pulley idler pulley and then these two on either side those are going to be the hydro gear pulleys so when you're routing it you want the v-shaped uh, side of the belt going into the v-shaped pulley on the crank it's going to come around this way to your right hand side hydro gear uh, you can slide that belt over the top of the hydro gear pulley at least on this model um, and then it slips down goes around that pulley the v-shaped side of the belt is going to go into the hydro gear pulley there then comes around the flat side of the belt is going to ride on the back side of the big idler pulley under there coming around to your other hydro gear same thing with the v-shaped side of the belt going into that hydro gear pulley uh, and you can just slide the belt over the top of that hydro pulley hydro gear pulley and drop it down in there and then the flat side of the belt again comes around on this right side of the tensioner and then the belt goes between the tensioner pulley and the uh, engine crank pulley to complete the loop. So make sure you study up on this. If you have to get back out from underneath the mower, take a look at this. As you're doing it, definitely do that. Uh, it's great to have this sticker on here. All right, so first things first, we're going to get this drive belt put back on. So goes over the top of that hydro gear pulley and then it, well I guess we need to get it back on the drive pulley first let's do that get it up through here get this bolt put back in Alright, that's just in there loosely for now. Make sure this is all the way up. Alright, so that'll go up there. This needs to get in between those two pulleys. Alright. So that is on the drive pulley. And in between the idler. So now this has to loop back this way. This will go over the top of that hydro gear pulley. It should seat right into it. And we'll come around this way. Following the diagram that's stickered on the mower. That one should go back on that one. So we got it on our two drive gears, our hydro gears. This big idler, it's coming around this way on the tensioner. And it is on the drive pulley as well. So now, we'll just get some tension put back on it. Looking good so far.
All right, once you get your first nut run all the way in, go ahead and get your second wrench on, get that second nut put on, and then we'll double nut them so that it won't back off. Now, I don't have a belt tension gauge, but I'm just sort of going off a of feel. Went a little bit further, so it's a little bit tighter um, than it was when I took it off. I can tell that just by where the shiny part of this uh, tensioner bolt is showing past this nut. Um, obviously, I think you're supposed to have a belt tension gauge to gauge these belts, but I don't have one, and we're just going to go with what we got. So let's tighten this back up. All right, that's good. We connect our PTO. All right. So, look, looks good there. Good through there. I think we're on everywhere we need to be. So, let's get the uh, belt routed for the deck and get it put back on this pulley. All right, guys, so we got the drive belt put on. Let's take a look at the deck belt routing. So. Here's your crank from your engine. Let's see if we can clean that off a little bit. So here's your crank pulley from the engine. It's pretty symmetrical, so it should be pretty simple to go back on. You've got uh, your left-hand side spindle, your center spindle, your right-hand side spindle. You've got these two idlers on either side of your front spindle, and then these two uh, idlers here. Uh, I believe this small one is the belt tensioner. Let's see if that glare is sort of blocking it. So this small little guy, that's the tensioner pulley. Um, so we'll go ahead and get this belt rerouted per this diagram. We should be good to go. All right, so pretty sure I got the belt routed everywhere it needs to be, sort of loosely on all of these pulleys. I'm gonna go get underneath the back side of the mower, see if I can muscle it onto that crank pulley without messing with the tensioner up here. Um, it came off pretty easy. Maybe it'll go on just as easy. We'll see, I'll try that first. And then if that doesn't work, I may have to come up here, loosen the tensioner and um, try it again. So let's go see if we can get it put on the crank pulley. All right, so yeah, that uh, that went on there pretty easy, surprisingly easy actually. Not really sure what the tension's supposed to be on the belt um, for the blades, but it was cutting fine when I pulled it off, so maybe it'll be all right where it's at. Um, obviously, they make tools for checking the tension in the belts. I've also seen some people on different Facebook groups and stuff. They use a credit card uh, for the belt 
or the deck belt and if they can get a credit card between the spaces in the spring uh, they say it's good so I might try that see if that works um, and uh, yeah let's try that and see what it does all right so we got this belt put back on I don't have the proper tensioning tool uh, for or the tension checker gauge for these belts um, but what I've seen other people do is they make sure that they can fit like a, the width of a credit card this is actually just a hard card hunting license um, but if that can fit in there which this one does then your tension should be good I didn't have to adjust this tension at all um, when I was putting the belt back on I was just able to muscle the belt over the pulley so it's the same tension that it was when it was cutting last and it was cutting good so we're gonna leave it at that I um, think we're good to go all right, so using that credit card trick, it seems like the tension is good on the uh, deck belt. Tension seems to be good on the drive belt. So really the only thing I have left to do now is start the mower up. Once I start it, the pulley for the drive motors will start spinning, so that one should be all right. And then after that, we'll, uh, we'll engage the blades, make sure they're spinning good, make sure that belt's looking good, and... Uh, We'll call this job done. So, get y'all set back up. Y'all be taking a look at the uh, underside of the mower underneath the engine where all the drive pulleys are and all that sort of stuff. Um, we'll get it fired up, spin those blades up, make sure everything looks good, and go from there. So, let's do that. All right, spin up seemed to do good. Everything looked good. Go ahead and get these covers. Get those covers put back on the outside spindle pulleys. Get this thing off the ramps and we'll be done. All right, guys well that is going to do it for this video not a whole lot to it just make sure you follow those diagrams that are on the stickers on the mower if you don't have the stickers on your mower if they got rubbed off or something you can probably find those diagrams online on the bad boy websites or on the online manuals that they have out there um, so those are key on the drive belt just take your time follow the diagram um, at least on this mower, this is a 2019 Maverick, the belt was able to come up above the drive belt pulleys and slide between the pulley and the frame above it. So that's how they get off of the drive belt and then they're off of the hydro gear pulleys themselves. And then on the crank pulley, I had to take that one bolt out, disconnect the wiring for the PTO. Obviously needed the, um, the deck belt off of the crank pulley prior to getting the drive belt off of the crank pulley, but 
once you do that you get that tension backed off the tension spring you should be good to go so pretty straightforward take your time with it take a look at things before you just start unbolting stuff or loosening things and yanking on belts and whatnot um, just try to fit, get an understanding of it in your mind before you really tear into anything um, these belts look good I am just going to continue to run them like I said I left that the deck belt tension exactly where it was I added some tension to the drive belt um, just felt like it needed a little bit more on there all of this is just going off a of feel I don't have any of the gauges to tell how much tension is on each of these belts so just sort of going with what I feel which is usually how I do most things. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it bites me, but we're gonna go with what we got. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment if this was helpful for you. Hopefully it helps that one subscriber that's been asking me to make this video. Um, if it doesn't, if you need more info, please feel free to leave me a comment down there. I'll try to talk you through it best I can. And uh, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up. As always, I hope you all have a good one you all no hope y'all have a good one we'll catch you next time down here on the south coast